guys, so at the end of my video yesterday, I was talking about who has been cast as Shazam, and I just wanted to expand on it a little bit more because I didn't really say much about it um, since I found out like right when I was uploading the video. <laughs> so um, Zachary Levi has been announced as the actor to play Shazam in the Shazam movie that we're getting in April of 2019, and I w I'm not... I don't I wasn't too sure who he was yesterday because I didn't recognize him at first but um, in this video I'll go over some stuff that he's uh, playing that he's played in before and also I'll uh, explain why I didn't recognize him at first because he apparently he can look very different <laughs> just by changing his hair so um, I'm happy with the choice I'm glad it's not John Cena Sorry to those of you who wanted him, but I just, I couldn't get there. <laughs> I think he looks like a Shazam, though. And so, David F. Sandberg, the director, shared a couple pictures on his Instagram yesterday. First, he shared this one with a Shazam action figure. He shares a lot of pictures like this with uh, toys and stuff. First, it said, or uh, first, he posted this one that says, uh, Today. And then a little while later on his Instagram account, he posted one of Zachary Levi. And in the caption, he said, um, insert lightning bolt on chest. <laughs> so announcing that this is the guy who was going to play Shazam in the movie. Um, I'm sure it's been a decision, obviously, for a while now, but they are finally making it public, making it known to the public. And so that's exciting. Um, and then today, Zachary Levi posted on his Instagram this cool uh, boss logic art, for those of you who are familiar with his work. And in the caption of the picture he's announcing his excitement for playing uh actually he said original captain marvel and that he's going to be working out for like the rest of forever now <laughs> to keep up the physique and for those of you that did recognize him he plays fandrel in the thor movies and um as far as i understand he's also in thor ragnarok coming up in a few days well for me it's coming up to release in a few days um, and th I just, I did not recognize him at all. I don't really even remember his character that much. It's been a while since I watched a Thor movie. But, um, from what my husband tells me, he is funny. I can't remember though. <laughs> Sorry. And he also plays on the TV show called Chuck. And I didn't, I don't watch the show, but once I saw these pictures of him, then I kind of recognized his character, like seeing him in commercials and, you know, trailers for the show and stuff like that. Um, and from what I understand from people's response, he's also pretty funny in this show, which is going to be important for the character of Shazam, since he's a kid in a man's body. Um, because of David F. Sandberg's Instagram posts, people also wonder if that means that Henry Cavill's Superman is also going to be in the Shazam movie. Because a lot of people are expecting him to be kind of a mentor to Billy Batson Shazam, since they have really similar powers. And Instagram posts like these <laughs> make people wonder if he is going to be in the Shazam movie. Of course, David F. Sandberg could just be, you know, messing around with people, trying to get them to speculate and wonder and talk about the movie. And since we don't really know much about it, um, this is pretty much the biggest news we've gotten so far is the casting of Shazam. So I don't know. I think it'd be pretty cool. It'd be exciting to see him cameo or play a part. Um, this actor, Aiden Gallagher, is about 14-year-old actor. I don't really know much about him either, except that he plays in the Nickelodeon show, um, Ricky, Nikki, Dicky, and Don. And he posted, um, he posted something on his Instagram that I think has been since taken down. But people are wondering if he might be hinting that he's going to play the young Billy Batson. He posted this picture, um, thanking these fans for their fan art, um, you know, he has some pictures side by side of him as, next to some pictures of Billy Batson, young Billy Batson, who is, you know, transforms into Shazam. And so, but it has since been taken down. And it also says he's going to be announcing something huge. So I don't know what else that would mean, <laughs> but we'll just have to see. And we've known for a while now that Dwayne Johnson is playing Black Adam. However, we don't know when we're going to see him yet in the DCEU because they have confirmed several months ago that he is not going to be the villain in the Shazam movie. At first, you're kind of confused, like, why? But then once they said that they're going to be going in a more, 
um, lighthearted tone since it's his origin movie and he is actually a kid, then it kind of makes sense why he wouldn't be the villain just yet because he's a pretty dark villain. And so still makes me wonder who is going to be the villain in the Shazam movie. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments who you think they might cast, who might be playing, um, who might be the villain um, in the Shazam movie. Um, and I don't know. I just, I don't know. <laughs> but it's still, it's something exciting to contemplate. Um, in other news, the Paris Comic Con is going on right now. And this in, this uh, Twitter account I follow called the Aquaman Shrine they posted this yesterday um, that they also that the crowd there got to see 10 minutes of Justice League and they also got to see some Aquaman footage. They had this to say that the Aquaman clip shown in Paris was live action, vibrantly colored, and featured underwater dialogue from Momoa that sold the audience. That is super exciting to hear. Because, and I'm also jealous. <laughs> These people that got to see 10 minutes of Justice League and Aquaman footage. Um, underwater dialogue, I've said a few times in previous videos is something I'm really looking forward to seeing in the Justice League movie in the Atlantis scenes because it's going to give us an idea of how it's going to look in the Aquaman movie which we'll see a lot more of it in that movie but just you know we'll get a little taste of it in the Justice League movie but it's exciting to see that even this far away from the Aquaman movie what they have so far people were still you know happy and excited to what they have accomplished so far with this movie and also, as far as I understand, the 10 minutes that they got to see of Justice League, the response for that has been positive as well, similar to the response from the 30 minutes that was shown in Beijing, China at the press tour. Um, the Aquaman Shrine also shared this about the slate of title logos that was shown at the Paris Comic Con, which includes Suicide Squad 2, The Batman, Shazam, Flashpoint, Wonder Woman 2, um, Green Lantern Corps, Batgirl, and Gotham City Sirens. So if you remember the slate they announced at San Diego Comic-Con a few months ago, it's pretty much the same slate except um, Justice League Dark is missing from this list here. So I'm now wondering if that means that the next Justice League movie will be Flashpoint instead of that being the Flash solo movie. Don't quote me on that. That's not coming from any source or official thing. But I don't know. I don't know why they wouldn't include Justice League Dark on this slate. But J.K. Simmons did recently confirm that they're working on the script for the next Justice League movie and the Batman movie. He didn't say what the title of the next Justice League movie is going to be, but he did say they're working on the script for it. So we know that there is going to be another Justice League movie at some point in the near future. We also have not heard anything about the Man of Steel 2 film, and I'm guessing that they're waiting on announcing anything to do with that movie until Justice League is out because they don't want to really announce anything to do with Superman, understandably, until Justice League comes out because that's when he his character will return to the DC Cinematic Universe. So it's likely that Man of Steel 2 is farther into um, the process of being worked on and everything than we know of because they just don't want to tell us until we see him come back in Justice League. So I'm sure there's a lot more going on with that movie than we actually know of us fans. Um, because, you know, it was the first, he was the first one to kick off the DC Cinematic Universe. So there's no really, there's not a reason for them to wait until they go through all of these movies on this list first before they do Man of Steel 2. Because that would be like several, several years <laughs> before getting a Man of Steel 2. Yes, we had BVS, and now we're getting Justice League with him, but as far as, like, a Superman solo movie, there's no reason for them to wait that long until we get another Man of Steel solo movie. Um, so I, I'm hoping that I'm right about them announcing more about the Man of Steel 2 movie at least sometime soon after Justice League comes out. And I think a lot of people are kind of thinking the same thing. So... That's what I wanted to talk about in today's video. Let me know what you guys think about the Shazam casting in the comments if you didn't uh, let me know in yesterday's video. Again, I am happy with the casting decision. Don't worry, he's going to bulk up for the role <laughs> just like the rest of them have for the superhero roles. So don't worry about anything like that. <laughs> but as always, guys, thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description and we'll see you guys next time.